My name is John Copeland, and I'm the son of Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. I can remember I was probably around 16 years old. My, di my dad had, he traveled a lot. He and mom were gone a lot. And he came home one time from a trip, and God had dealt with him about magnifying my sins, because when he'd come home, he would have to deal with whatever I had done, and then he'd be back gone again. So he sat down and talked to me one day, and he's like, you know, the Lord showed me that you think that I think you're a bad boy. And he said, I don't. And I said, well, I've done enough for you to feel that way. And uh, it was a real pivotal time for me because me and him would not really talk much. We fought more than we talked. And even at that age, I knew I wanted to graduate high school, but after that, I was gonna be gone and never come back. He told me at that time, he said, you're your own man from this point out. The decisions that you make are yours, right or wrong. Um, but he said, the day you get thrown into the deepest, darkest dungeon is the day that I'm going to start trying to get you out. He said, I'll always be here for you. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. But the decisions you make here out are yours. I didn't change right away. Um, but our relationship changed that day. And it brought him to a place where he could talk to me. I would listen. We could spend time together. Um, it was not adversarial anymore. And fast forward till about 19 years old, and I was doing drugs, cocaine in particular, and I really started getting this feeling in my spirit that the Lord was telling me to put away childish things, and I felt like I was going to get busted by the police. And if I did, then Dad and Mom would pay the price in the media for that. And I did not want that. But when you look at it and you look back, the scripture that love never fails, it was my love for him that I quit cold turkey and uh, told him about it two weeks later and just told him what I've been doing. And I told him that I had quit and I didn't want him to hear it from anybody else. It wasn't him beating me over the head with it. It wasn't him telling me I was wrong. It was the fact that I loved him and I did not want him and mom to pay the price in the media for something that I did. You know, God takes you down paths, and sometimes you choose a path that maybe wasn't exactly where God wanted you to go, but God has a way of bringing your path back to where He wants you to be. You know, I wanted to be a cowboy and a rancher and a welder and wanted to do all these things, and it was just a path that God had for me to get the education that I need for business. You know, and I came to KCM, and then I was working in facilities, building buildings. Um, then international director, then a CEO for a long time. And all those things have led me to the path now of taking the things that I have learned that God showed me, that mom and dad have shown me, the experience of being here under mom and dad's leadership, and the great people here at KCM that I've had the honor to work with. And now I'm able to take that, and I'm taking that to other people and other businesses and churches and ministries and trying to help them find that place where their path is and following that ministry of excellence, high character, integrity, meeting the needs of the people. And you know, God's path just continues on for me. And it's a, you know, I'm in a phase of my life now that I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's like fun for me to do this and to be able to be a part of so many people's lives and continue that. And then I know after that, there's gonna be another path. And I wanna encourage you, if you feel like you haven't gotten on the right path, or you're not on any path at all, seek God. He has a path for you, He has a plan for you, and God will be faithful to you that you're stepping out, you're walking in faith, and He will meet you right where you are every day.